Here I reside on an island where birds no longer fly, their metal feathers driven through the ground, their talons sunk into the sky, their heads forever spinning. And the men, molded from rotting wood, reside inside their metal minds, reside as all working men should, their heads forever spinning. Each bird is born to the sounds of metal churning, born with their metal teeth bared, their faces forever gurning, born to build last nests. These monstrous monuments to modernity that stand there mournfully like a cenotaph to the poor, a domicile of decadence with a dead man at its door. And those metal men with metal minds with money fused into their veins will leave a generation dying in a city unfit for the sane. And those metal birds that fill the sky do not build for you or I. They do not build for those who die in tired doorways by the street. They do not build for those who need a home or those who need a place to eat. And yet they stand there as monuments to the ever-growing elite, their heads forever spinning. And at this time, I see no way of winning. Their metal birds grow taller, but the space to live is thinning. So must I sell my soul to pitch my flag amongst the living? And must I spend my time in a country of misgivings? But will those flightless birds raise up their wings to fly will they stay forever grounded as a blemish in the sky or will they forever remain standing as monuments the irish stain from hostels to hotels from your hell to my hell from worn down sheds to glorified cells is this what it means to be irish the homeless in hotels, the tourists in homes, as children are homeless and worked to the bone. And the flightless birds watch on grinning, their heads forever spinning. But I can only give you my words. I cannot give you refuge on the Isle of Flightless Birds, a place where man and monster live together as one where lies permeate the tide like a madman with a gun. Is this the Irish legacy of the men with empty words to be forever known as the Isle of Flightless Birds?